want to be sure you're getting the most out of your retirement for all the years of your retirement? That's the primary goal of More Living with Jim Brogan and our Dollars and Cents segment, where we provide you with an important financial tip that will help positively impact the quality of your life in retirement. And now here's Jim with this week's Dollars and Cents tip. And for this week, I want to talk about a question I get asked sometimes. Jim, do you believe in managed mutual funds or do you believe in unmanaged index funds and ETFs? And I think this is interesting because when you talk to a lot of people in the industry, it's like one or the other. It's like they believe in the managed money approach with mutual funds or they believe in the indexed approach of unmanaged funds. Um, My question for you would be, why not consider all that stuff? I mean, why put yourself in a box and only consider a limited menu of options? I mean, there's pros and cons to anything you can invest in, anything. There's, there's pros and cons to manage mutual funds. Um, you know, there's certainly great pros with some of the great money managers that are out there. There's certainly a management risk you take on with managed funds. You also do have extra costs when you have actively managed funds. But when you have unmanaged index funds, uh, you, you are exposed a lot to the, you know, you don't get that managed approach when we go think, through things like we went through two years ago with the Great Recession two, three years ago. So, I mean, why... Why box yourself in a corner and only consider one or the other? You know, and I'm, def- I'm I'm focusing on funds today. I know that we can look at stocks, and then we've got you know all the other alternatives out there and derivatives of stocks, but particularly funds because they're so popular. Why not consider everything in this economic environment? It's enough of a challenge as it is. Why not consider the very best offerings that the industry has to offer? And it can select only great merchandise. It may mean that you usually use a mix of both managed funds and unmanaged index funds. But why limit yourself when it comes to investing your life savings? Why on earth would you ever want to walk into a mall to shop and be stuck in one store at the mall and not be able to shop at all the stores? So my advice is don't box yourself in a corner and only focus on one product type because you know what really when you get right down to it when you do that you're just buying products you're not managing a financial process to help you achieve all of your goals and putting those goals on paper and saying how do we get to those goals and how do we give ourselves a very high probability that we're going to achieve those goals these things these financial tools we use are just tools they're not i mean we we don't want to be shopping for product here we want to be managing those things managing the risks that we face short term and long term consider everything that's out there so that for this week is our dollars and cents